Hey! Welcome to Belladiva World Dance, live on camera at the Clock Tower Cabaret. What a show we have for you tonight. Joining me is the founder and producer, the head director of Bella Diva World Dance. Please say hello, hello to Caitlin Brosna Smith. Thank you, Pierre. It's so good to be back. It is good to be back. Thanks for coming. Thanks for bringing another fantastic show to the beautiful Clock Tower stage in downtown Denver, Colorado. Now, we did do a show with you about, uh, I don't know, a couple of weeks, yeah, months. Yeah, four weeks ago. Yeah, and uh, I have to say, it went really well. Yes, it was. It was great. People at home enjoyed. We saw a lot of comments streaming that uh, it was a fun thing. Lots of joy. Lots of different dance forms from all over the planet Earth. And such a diverse program you put on. Now, I'm excited to say I'm looking at the lineup. It looks like there's more Bella Diva dancers. There's more international choices. And there's more fun to be had today. Yes, because of the social distancing, we can't have our huge group numbers like we normally do. So for the first show, we only could do probably half the cast. Right. Half of the company members. And so this time around, you're going to see a few friendly faces you had last time and then also the rest of the company. Absolutely. I uh, just want to point out to people watching at home that, of course, we're doing this all in a safe and responsible manner. All the crew members and actors have stayed six feet apart. Everyone, even in their full makeup, was wearing masks unless they got up here on Trying stage. Trying not to get their lipstick all <laughs> smudged. I know, because you pull off the mask and it looks like you have uh, maybe just woke up sometimes. But uh, everyone did a great job and we're excited to see how it turns out. So uh, I'd say let's kick things off right away. Um, I think you are in the first number. Yes, and like we talked about last time, this will be happening. Right, so if you don't know what's happening, she's standing here right now, sitting, and in a minute she'll be dancing, and you're gonna say, how does this happen? But it's the magic of Hollywood, because if Hollywood can't get it right, who can? <laughs> All right, let's kick things off, a little duet. We have Caitlin and Addie. Any notes on the music and where it's from? So this is going to be an Egyptian belly dance called Rocks Asaya. This is with the cane. And it's a dance that usually makes fun of the men's martial art form called taktib, which is a straight stick that they use for um, like defense mm -hmm. and martial arts in Egypt. And the ladies make fun of it in kind of like this cute, ironic fashion. And I'll be dancing with Addie. She started dancing with us when she was 13 years old. And now she is 19, all grown up. So this is- That's our almost eight years. And this is why he does what he does, folks. <laughs> Let's bring on our opening act. Welcome, Bella Diva World Dance. Say hello to Caitlin and Addie. El Calanda. El Calanda Kbir. El Calanda. Eww, I'll call the Akhir. Lahsan, ya habibi. Tetap kitig. Tan asli basid li sedni. Wabadup fi gharam li habibni. Wabdih bi roh. Okay. 
was great. You were great. Addy was great. You're not even sweating. Look at you, beautiful creature. Oh, that was fantastic. I want to say something before we go further. If you like what you see here today and you want to support these lovely dancers and the studio Belladiva World Dance, which all of these have been closed, there were no jobs, no gigs for artists for about four months, you can go to Vinmo at Clock Tower Cabaret and donate, or you can go to clocktowercabaret.com and find the show ticket. And when you purchase a $0 ticket, there's a tip jar you can contribute there. If it's $15, $20, $25, every penny helps get you back on your feet and going into the fall. And it really helps our dancers who have not been able to perform, like you said. So this was such a treat for them to actually have a show going right into your homes tonight. Yeah, it's very important. Um, so this next performer, actually, when she was rehearsing earlier today, uh, she said, I grew up here in the clock tower in a weird way she did. How old was she when she started doing Ariel? When she started doing Ariel, I believe Cass was 11 years old. And that was maybe eight, nine? Yeah, eight years ago. So she's thir 20, 30... We just got to stop doing math. Okay, no math. Uh, she actually uh, moved to Chicago, yep. and she's studying at the University of Chicago. Yeah, one of freshman the year. Freshman year, just completed, mm -hmm. and one of the top schools in the country. Yes, very hard to get into. Mm -hmm. She's studying uh, neuroscience. Yes. And if you don't know what neuroscience means, it's the science of the neuro. Don't ask Pierre. So, she's going to be doing an aerial act. She's going to hang from the yes, ceiling. Yes, and they're called span sets. Span sets. Yep, and she's doing it to a Bollywood number called Jai Ho from Slumdog Millionaire. That was like the breakthrough Bollywood the movie. Cross through, yeah. Yes, where all of a sudden Americans knew what Bollywood was. Right. So, doing a dance called Hey Ho Ho, wearing spandex. Please put your hands together for the beautiful Cassidy. Go Cass! <laughs> hard work. Yes. I say, you know, I watch your shows sometimes live, sometimes on the TV, and one thing I say is not only fun, but it's good exercise. Very much so. It's a lot of work to move like that. Anyway, uh, up next we have a piece. As you noticed, I'm dressed sort of in a sort of, uh, what would you say, yachting? Yachting? How do you say yachting? Extra yacht. Extra yachting, yeah. Uh, you know, the boat. You're yes, on the boat. Got it. Uh, and I'm the capitan. <laughs> and we're going to set sail for Hawaii. And if you know anything about how they pronounce it, you don't say Hawaii, you say Oa'i. What he's trying to say is you pronounce every vowel, Hawaii. But no consonants. 
Uh, this is a traditional hula dance. Yes, huluana. You might and see this at like a luau or a party. Yes, mm -hmm. and it's going to be Lei. She is our instructor at Bella Diva who does the hula dancing. Mm -hmm. And one of our company members who was not here last time, her name is Rebecca. Rebecca? And she is actually, I think, seven months pregnant now, six and a half months pregnant. She has a child yes. in the, she, the poi poi yes. pot is full. And as you know, at our dance company, we really love to encourage our ladies to keep dancing throughout their pregnancy. It really keeps them healthy and happy and they talk about glowing. They're just mm. glowing on stage. And is there any science behind that or is that just pure gut instinct? No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is a lot of science behind it now. Yeah. Doctors are actually saying whatever you were doing before you were pregnant, you can keep doing as you are progressing throughout your pregnancy as long as you feel good and mm. it actually helps. And I can attest to that. Belly dancing made my pregnancies so much better and even the labors, it was a lot easier. Yeah, labor is expensive. So you got to really try to cut down on the labor. Um, I want to tell you, let's bring this out. This is going to really relax everyone in a very tense world right now. It's beautiful music and beautiful young ladies. Please say hello to Lei and Rebecca. Mahalo. That relaxes me. That's a nice... So beautiful. Oh, I'd love to go to that part of the world. I've never been to... Well, I, 
So I did have a question about their costumes, though. They were slightly different. Can you explain something about that? Yes. So they were wearing the traditional lay garlands, and Rebecca actually had hers open, and Lay's had hers closed, which is what you're normally seeing when you go to a luau. Mm. And there's a little bit of a superstition or tradition behind that, where they think that the lay actually represents the umbilical cord, and they want it to be open and free so as not to get tangled. So pregnant women dance with it open. Yep. And if you're not, it's closed. Yeah, see, I think that's funny because if I was pregnant, I would want the sign to be like, this is closed right now. But uh, I'm not oh, I, in. So uh, one of your best friends and someone you've worked with the longest in Bella Diva yes. is coming up next. Yeah, so excited. Yeah. It's Miss Grace. Yeah, she's uh, done a lot of work. She's actually appeared in Clock Tower Cabaret shows outside of your troupe, as you have. A few of your members have jumped into yep. other variety shows. And uh, I think this is one of the shiniest most sparkliest, most energetic pieces I've seen. And I'm excited to see. I think it's from Brazil. Yes. So, yes, you have to ask because Grace does do it all. But um, right now she's going to be going to Brazil and she's going to be doing a samba Latin fusion piece that's going to start kind of smooth and silky. And then we're going to get into those Batucada Rio drums for Carnival. Mm. I always like watching her footwork because she can move them very fast. And uh, I saw her practicing earlier and her heels Oh, yeah, five inches. I know. Dancing five inches, it's impossible. I can't even imagine. These are like a third of it. But I don't dance either, so it's another thing to say. Uh, Very excited to bring on this next act. Please welcome to the stage, say hello to Grace. Shoji Bola. So dance samba, so dance samba. Bye, 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 bye. So dance with samba, so dance with samba, bye. So dance with samba, so dance with samba, bye 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 bye. So dance with samba, so dance with samba, bye. Já não sei o twist já te demais, mas não sei, me cansei de calypso e cha cha cha. So dance with samba, so dance with samba, bye bye bye. Samba, so dance with samba, vai. Kakare, kakare, vai vare da te da te do. Ma vare de na do. Pa pa re, pa pa re, pa pa do. He da te do, da vare da te. That is good. That is good fun. I got to tell you something. Bella Diva World Dance, I think you probably have one of the most diverse and exciting dance companies in the state of Colorado. How many people roughly, often, not your company members, but how many people come in and out of the studio doors, you know, before BC, before COVID? Hundreds. Um, Yeah, we like every week we have, I think, 
between 130 and 150 different people come in and take our classes. I was at one show. I worked with you. This theater was too small. We went up to uh, Aurora Vada North Glen. North Glen. Yeah, North Glen. And there was, uh, I think, a cast of 93 people. Yep. It was a student showcase. Mm-hmm. They ranged in age from four years old to... Uh, people in their 60s. 60s, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And anyway, I'm just proud of you. You bring joy and you, uh, beginner, intermediate, or advanced, you offer something for everyone. And uh, any kind of dance you could think of, you have a class to teach it. So We do. We have the best teaching staff in Colorado. I'm so blessed. And you've been open how many years? So as a company, we've been around. It's our 10th anniversary. 10th and we've anniversary? been in our studio for six years now. Six years. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, this next performer, a soloist, is doing a belly dance, right? Yes, it's going to be a fusion belly dance by the lovely cat, who is also with child. Bella Diva, now 30% more pregnant. <laughs> Anyways, so Miss Cat, she's actually due in August. August. So she is eight months pregnant right now. Ah. I remember this. This is hard. hard yeah. Work. I know what happened to her during COVID. <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, moving on. Her whole entire routine is all about springtime and flowers and the earth. So I think it's really um, appropriate that she's doing it right now. And because the world is coming back, hopefully, out of this dark sort of... Yes, that too. Yeah. And she's giving birth to a child. That's going to be part of that new story. Well, I hope it's a child and not some sort of animal. Now, let's bring her on stage. Our next soloist. Say hello to the lovely cat. Yep, yep. Quite impressive. I really can't imagine. You have no idea. I don't have any idea. When I gave birth, I was in the pool beforehand, but wasn't a child. We're not talking about your burrito. Thank you. Um, I'm excited about this next one. Uh, This is Alina and Elizabeth. Yeah. They've been with you. They're core company members. They're core company members, and Alina is one of our instructors who does the Afro-Caribe dance style. Tell me a little bit about Afro-Caribe. Yeah, again, because it's a fusion of dance styles, Mm. and it does uh, originate from the African diaspora dances in the Caribbean. So we're talking about Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Cuba, Puerto Rico, Jamaica. So all of those areas, um, over time, started developing their own music, their own dance styles that mix with more traditional, and then we get afro Caribe. It's fantastic, and just, there's a lot of our viewers out there who don't speak English, and I just want you to know diaspora means the scattering of culture from one spot, scattering yes, across. from the, the West yeah. African slave trade. Yeah, like if you cut yourself, there's Neosporin, or you could use the Old Sporin, 
But in this case, it's diaspora. And uh, it's something, it's a very interesting concept. Let's see what they've got. This duet, of course, like all the duets tonight, and like us right here, six feet apart, socially distanced, and on the stage. Please welcome to the stage, Elena and Elizabeth. joy right now. What was the lyric you liked in that one? Oh, just saying how we're going to make it. You know, this isn't forever. We're going to get through it. And I really like the message of that song. We are going to get through it. And I just want to say, there is a lot of troublesome things going on out there in the world. And we hope in shows like this to give you a brief respite, a pause button to sort of remember that there is joy and music and beautiful things. But yes. it doesn't mean you shouldn't stop doing everything you can do to make this world a better place in light of everything that's happening. Right yes, now. always be grateful. Even through it all, there's always something to be grateful for. That's true. I want to remind you again, if you want to help support Bella Diva World Dance, you can Venmo them at Clock Tower Cabaret or find our tip jar at clocktowercabaret.com and click on this show. Yes, There'll be a spot thank you for you. Guys. Yeah. Thanks again for coming down here. Uh, I was going to say this is the end of the program, but it's not the end of the program. No, not even close. Yeah, so we'll film that part closer to the end of the program. Got it. This next piece is from the country Tahiti, and things that come from there are known as Tahitian. Tell us more. Good job. Yeah. So um, this is the lovely Emily. She was here for the first show. She actually opened up our first Bella Diva social distance, and she did a Tahitian number then, and she's going to do a different one for you. It's a little bit more lively with some of the drums and lots of farapus. That's the shaken hips. You know, a little tornado, a little blunder action. Oh, I know about shaking <laughs> hips. <laughs> 
Anyways, you're not going to find someone who has a more gentle, kind, joyful stage presence. Please welcome to the stage, Emily. So nice on a summer day. I told you. I know. I uh, ha- we have a tradition when we do Bella Diva World Dance. There is a son of April, and his nickname is Bam Bam. Yes. Right. And he always how is he? About nine, maybe ten somewhere. So, yeah. He always he. I don't know why, but he thinks I'm funny. Nobody else does. But he comes finds me before every show, and he tugs on my jacket. He's kind of shy, but he's like, I have a joke for you. And so he gave me a joke today. Uh, he texted it to me, I guess from. Oh, good. Yeah. And uh, here is the joke uh, today. Uh, what do you call an elevator that moves sideways? What, Pierre? A bus. Moving on. That's the joke. Um, coming up next, according to the program, uh, is something that you know is my favorite. That I don't like to play favorites because everyone gets a gold ribbon. But this... <laughs> Everyone gets a blue medal. Sorry. This one, though. Flip that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, everyone. And, uh, you know, they should do the Olympics like that. Like, no matter what country you're from or how good or bad, you all get a gold ribbon. And everyone, there'd be no more wars. There'd be no more politicians yelling. Russia would go on a Putin-free diet. We have uh, my favorite dance form. It's Bollywood. Bollywood. Bollywood is many things. It's a movie genre. Yep, it's a cinema. Mm-hmm. It's a music genre. 
Mm-hmm. From the Hindi language. Yeah, and uh, Bollywood is just a fun word to say. Bollywood, 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 yes. Bollywood, Bollywood. And we're going to have the lovely Kritika come up and dance for That's us. That's a fun name, too. Yes. Kritika. Kritika. I like it. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is uh, any particular part of India? This is from Mumbai? So actually, she didn't tell me what it's from, but she lip syncs almost the entire thing. So it's oh, pretty yes. cool. Because in Bollywood movies, that it's is not a legit uncommon. Thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, it's not a drag queen thing. In yeah, Bollywood well, movies... The, not that there's anything wrong with that. No, we love it. We have lots of drag shows here. Absolutely. <laughs> but in Bollywood, the actors are great dancers and actors, but they will lip sync to often a very popular singer on the yes, radio. Yes, it's like Singing in the Rain, if you remember that old movie. I do. So yeah, they'll have completely that, different dances. Was that how old I am? No, I love, that's my old favorite movie. That movie. was a current movie. <sighs> old movie. Are we done? Yes. So moving on. Yes, in Bollywood, you'll actually have the dancers do the dancing, and then they'll have the famous singers do the recordings, and then the dancers lip sync, all of that. And that's legit. Nobody cares. It's not like Yeah, nobody Vanilli. says that wasn't you singing, Man- Millie Vanilli. <laughs> now we're dating ourselves. <laughs> I think my face dates myself more than anything. <laughs> But here we are, the year is 2020, and that's also what hindsight is. Please welcome to the stage, doing a little Bollywood dance, say hello to Kritika Chakte. the different uh, articulations of the Those are arms. called mudras. Mudras. Yes, like this is called alapadma for lotus blossom. Mm-hmm. And we have katakamutta. So there's lots of different ones. I can't do most of them. They take years and years of training. Right. And you're also moving your entire body at the same. I mean, that's a lot yes, to a keep lot to think of. going. Yeah, that's like walking with both feet. Hard to do. For you. Well, yeah. <laughs> and uh, keep in mind, I'm rarely sober. So I like to make things a little more difficult. Uh, I do want to say we have a sponsor tonight. Uh, if you enjoy dessert, but you've got too much going on in your life to choose between chocolate cake or fudge, 
Please try Flan. <gasps> flan! Yes, visit us at www.onlyflans.net. You can go there and you can browse our wide selection. <laughs> no, you can't, because it's only Flan! <laughs> this next act is a very interesting one. Um, this one is Ali and Chelsea. Yes. And uh, they've been around, they've been in your group for a bit, yeah? Yes, they've been, I think, company members for about a year. Yeah, I over remember, a little year. Uh, I remember when Ali had her debut down here, mm -hmm. and it's so fun. You start taking the classes at the studio, you find out it's this wonderful, warm family, and they are very uh, inclusive and inviting, and then you start taking more classes, and next thing you know, it becomes a community that you're hanging out with, and yeah. you guys, before BC, you guys had big picnics and parties, and next thing you know, you want to audition to become a company member, and generally you have to have, what, maybe five, six years to get Not into the... Not so much. It depends. It depends. Different where you are in your... Exactly. Uh, and different experience. people have different experiences and mm -hmm. how long they've been dancing. But yeah, mm -hmm. they come and they audition right here on the stage when we have our actual student teacher showcases. Mm -hmm. I worked for a company once, uh, McDonald's. Oh. Um, I uh, am excited. So this next, it's a duet. Uh, if you don't know what duet means. That was it? Huh? That was it? What? What about McDonald's? It's a company I worked for. Oh. I didn't have to have any experience. Didn't have to put in five years. I got right into I the company. I thought that was going to be a punchline. Huh? <laughs> Is my life funny to you? Do I? I have to work jobs. Did you make the French fries? Oh, that is culturally inappropriate. I can't even. Do you want a French kiss? God, no. Do you think that's funny? I'm French. I don't appropriate. I'm sorry, I, may I don't appreciate appropriate. Disculpe. Disculpe. Disculpe is Portuguese, I'm sorry. Speaking I said of Portuguese, French. it's not Portuguese. I was trying to give you a segue. Here we go, Portuguese, because we're going down to Brazil. <laughs> we're gonna be going to Rio Carnival now with Ali and Chelsea for some more alegria, beautiful feathers, headdresses. Please welcome Ali and Chelsea. Vamos lá! <laughs> Coisa linda, muito prazer. Hoje você vai ser minha e esse corpo me pertence. Eu vou pegar você. Coisa linda, muito prazer. Yeah, yeah. Hoje você vai ser minha esse corpo me pertence. Eu vou pegar você. Eu cheguei chegando, tô cheio de rima na boca do povo. Em qualquer esquina Não faz isso não, neguinha Eu me perco todo E meu pandeiro quebra Meu cavalo chora e eu fico louco Louco pra te ver mexer E descer até o chão Abre a roda pra geral Bate na palma da mão Já dançaram um funk aí Agora é a minha vez Com sol do cu e catangura e repique Eu vou pegar você Eu sou tenho certeza que você vai se amarrar Eu sou o samba Tenho certeza que você vai se entregar pra Eu mim Eu sou o samba Tenho certeza que você vai se amarrar Eu sou o samba Tenho certeza que você vai se entregar pra Eu mim Eu sou o samba Tenho certeza que você vai se amarrar Eu sou o samba Tenho certeza que você vai se entregar pra Eu mim Eu sou o samba Tenho certeza que você vai se amarrar Eu sou tenho certeza que você vai se entregar pra mim Eu sou o samba Samba! Samba, alegria! Samba! So that would be like uh, Carnival, Mardi Gras Yes, it would. The song was called Eu Sou Samba. Eu Sou Samba, which means I am samba. So mm. the singer is actually personifying the entire bateria, all the different instruments, and how that is pure joy. It's pure life. Come and dance with me. I am samba. I think there's two ways in life to express pure joy. One, of course, dance. And the other one is microwaving one of those Red Baron pizzas with the sausage and the pepperoni. Very different. Anyway, uh, coming, we're going uh, to Europe right now, um, past France. Yes. Well, it's actually it's one of the largest countries on earth, so it spans from Europe all the way to Asia. Yes, and you're speaking of the dancer, not the dance style. The dancer, I yes. know. Yeah. Actually, I, I'm curious to see what she does out here because uh, I met her and I know she's from Russia. Mm -hmm, the I don't lovely know what Anna. Part of Russia. It's a huge, 
It's like Russia is about the size of Wyoming. It's actually from a small town, and I can't remember it, so I'm not going to butcher it. So like Cheyenne, Wyoming, small town, big city. And um, she's here doing it. And she's somewhat new. She found you recently? Yes, she actually is um, a professional belly dancer that came to us. She was living in L.A. before she moved from Russia. L.A. is the southern, near the Ukraine. And she's been in Colorado now for a few years. And she's going to be doing a um, shabby style Egyptian belly dance, which means um, of the people. So it's kind of like pop music. There's some more storytelling, lots of fun hand gestures. It's very playful, very flirtatious. Very good. Well, let's see what she's got to bring to the table. Please put your hands together for Anna. Iowa. about all I was that. just watching all that hair flip around. I was like, that's some Bolshevik right there. Ah, I see what you did there. That's a Russian joke. Yeah, you're not in a hurry. I'm just Russian. You said that one last time. It's good enough to use again. I liked Putin on the Ritz. Putin on the Ritz. Uh, you know, if you're anything like me, Caitlin, and I know and I I'm am. I'm so glad I'm uh, not. You're not? <laughs> well, there's a couple things that we have uh, different, but there's more things that we don't have in common. Um, I think we all agree we like the live performing arts. We've dedicated our entire professional lives. Outside of my Indeed. brief stint at McDonald's, we have dedicated our lives to the arts. And uh, the arts are a wonderful thing. It um, makes people happy. It expresses things that sometimes words can't express. And it pays very little. So if you want to help these dancers, uh, Venmo one more time at Clock Tower Cabaret or clocktowercabaret.com. Uh, we would appreciate it. Uh, you don't have to. We are presenting this program just to be sort of a light in a dark time. But Yes, we want to continue bringing art to you all because we know how much you're missing it as well. Yeah. And uh, I believe this is our final number. Yes, we're back, like, to Bali Bali. back to Bali Bali. Back to Bali Bali? Yeah. Um, I, by the way, uh, 
Any Indian restaurants that you... I love... I, can I shout out an Indian restaurant? Yes. We live very close to Little India on 6 uh, near Spear, and they didn't ask for a sponsorship, but I just love their food. and it they like really good. We get their, takeout from there all the time. You do too, yeah. Mm-hmm. And restaurants are struggling just as much, so that's my shout out to Little India. And if you want to order dessert from them but don't like what's on their menu, go to onlyflans.net. So this is a group number at the end. Yes, we had to be kind of creative with our group numbers because normally we have like 10 people up here. I thought it was great. You rehearsed via video chat from home. So yes. you guys worked on it. And not... there's a few of us now coming back to the studio. We That's practice right. um, with masks. Mm-hmm. And uh, we have like some duets. We have like a little dance-off section. So we have two people at a time dancing and we kind of play tag and pass the baton, the Bollywood baton. Mm-hmm. And so this is our last high energy Chuck Day number. We hope you guys like it. I think it's going to be, I saw you guys walking through it earlier, and uh, it's going to be pretty exciting. This reminds me of like the Olympics opening ceremony, except everyone gets a blue medal. We are here at the end of our program. I'd like to thank a few people. I'd like to thank Mel, who's my personal cameraman. Nathan, who is Caitlin's personal cameraman. And we've got Steve and Taylor back on the sound and lights. i also like to thank the Clock Tower Cabaret for letting us do our strange little things down here since... Don't forget Michael. Michael, Doing all oh, the editing Michael's for you not guys. here right now, but he's going to edit this together. So if I got something wrong or said something inappropriate, he Which will just... Which definitely happened. Do you think he can do this trick? I'm going to snap, but the snap's going to happen three seconds later. The sound is not going to match. One, two, three. Did you hear it? That was magic. Just like this closing act. Let's see the whole group come on stage one more time. Put your hands together for Bella, Diva, dance! Shakti!
Great job, great choreography, great fun. Great energy. Do you have anything you'd like to say as we wrap things up here? Yes, I want to thank everyone at home for continuing to support us. I know it can get hard sometimes with compassion fatigue and there's always someone to help, but we really appreciate your time and energy and effort and supporting the art, supporting our dancers. They worked really hard for you tonight to bring this to the stage and we are just grateful to have somewhere to perform. So thank you for continuing to be one of our loveliest homes here in Denver and we hope to be back full force when it is safe and healthy to do so. Oh, thank you very much. This is Caitlin Brosna Smith. You can find her at Bella Diva World Dance, where she owns, produces, and runs the studio. Thank you for bringing your cast down here. Thank you. Thank you for respecting all the safety rules and guidelines as provided by the CDC and the band named The Who. I'm a Naughty Pierre, and I'd just like to thank you for tuning in. Check back on our YouTube channel. We have different video projects coming up, uh, different kinds of shows. We've got drag shows and burlesque shows. and Aerial, aerial shows. shows. That's right. All kinds of fun stuff, and we hope to get back uh, up on our feet again before too much longer. But until then, stay safe, wear a mask, be smart, and wherever you get your news, consider the source. <laughs> thank you, and good night. Good night, everybody. Want some Indian food? <laughs>